So the background noise that you hear is the gentle whir of a Shimano EP8 motor. A newly replaced Shimano EP8. I have my Vitus E Summit back and uh, she's raring to go. I've done a couple of little tests locally just to make sure that everything's working and it is. So I've risked traveling a bit further to Dunoon. Now Dunoon isn't all that far for me as the crow flies but it is a little bit awkward to get to and uh, I don't come here as much as I should. I actually forgot how nice the road is uh, traveling down here as well. Proper nice day. Now I haven't been in Dunoon for over a year I believe and I remember on that last day I noticed that the trails had kind of almost been reclaimed by nature and hadn't really, didn't look like they'd seen much action and once I put that video out uh, Stuart McNee, one of the local guys here got in touch with me on Instagram and said that right enough uh, they had fallen into a state of disrepair but they fully intended on putting the work in and getting them back up to scratch and that's why I'm here today just to uh, ride the trails see what improvements have been made and see if they are as good as they were or perhaps even better I used to ride e-bikes just to try and prolong my days and uh, sometimes I do but now I'm not too adverse to uh, just backing it in turbo and blasting out laps which is equally if not more fun so the usual, I'll try and work my way to the furthest away spot first and then slowly work my way back I have missed enjoying climbs I don't enjoy climbs on a regular bike <laughs> So I have noticed uh, the next patch of forest has been cut down so the trail I was planning to head into will most likely not be there so we have to go to the next nearest one which I believe is Burnside Upper it's quite sharp Burnside Upper let's go nice Quite narrow. Oh, yeah, fucker. <laughs> oh, not getting wet today. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. I've seen these. This is what I've seen on Instagram. These new turns. Very cool. Oh. Oh, and a jump. Very nice. Oh. Good work. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise till the end that you had to launch that. Oh, this is different. Missed the turn. Oh, that looks pretty overgrown. I think we'll go to the bad. So this stream is called The Bad, as in naughty, but with two D's, and that trail is called The Bad, but I have just noticed there is an upper section I believe, so I missed out on this one. So I think this one's had quite a bit of work as well, there you go, you can see it's been benched out. I think it's quite fast, but... <laughs> as it's been a very long time and it's had changes I'm not going to hit it flat out oh, I think this is one of the newest ones last time I was here like, oh, one of the latest ones to get built so it's pretty raw oh, much steepness oh, watch the head oh, oh man Pretty cool. Up and over. Oh. 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 Oh.
So definitely not the usual kind of view I show off on my typical rides, but it's kind of nice. We've got beautiful countryside, but we also have fairly large towns, Danoon obviously in the foreground. We've got Guruk and then Greenock around the corner. Not actually sure what that one is across there, uh, but we've got Helensborough further back. This is all the Clyde estuary, Glasgow's just up there if you're not from Scotland. And then down towards uh, Ayrshire and Largs and whatnot. Yeah, it's kind of nice scenery, but large settlements as well. There's worse places in the world, that is for sure. Okay, so the uh, first run was pretty good. Uh, bike's feeling, yeah, like really good, just as good as I remember. It does take a little bit of getting used to the extra weight, to be fair, but uh, once you adapt for that, you can just start charging. So I'm hoping that that's what the second run will be. Now we're done kind of alternating runs between the top and the bottom, uh, and now on this run, I plan on doing the kind of opposite corresponding opposite runs, uh, alternate runs, sorry. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do the top half of the bit that I done the bottom half of, and the bottom half of the top bit that I done last time. That makes total sense. So the bike is not exactly how I left it. I have had a couple of, well, one change. Oh, I've now got my one up uh, components, multi tool and uh, CO2 in there. I plan on having these in every single bike that I own from now on because uh, it's just so handy it just means I've always got the absolute bare minimum to kind of bail me out of a situation at any one time uh, that was provided to me by uh, 2020 bikes they give me the threading kit to put it into the steerer tube they do uh, kind of hire them out and they also give me some Etnies uh, flat pedal shoes the Brandon Seminic ones, I'll put a, a B-roll in there. Uh, that's because I left my 510s out in the Alps. Semi-casual looking as well, unlike the 510s, which are very clearly, specifically for mountain biking. So, I dropped in over there last time at the top. There's another one here, and the reason why I came out a different bit is because I just done new Burnside Upper. And this is the original one, which I actually know. So, and we've also got Rock and Roll Upper. So I'm going to go and do Rock and Roll Upper, and then I'll come back for the original Burnside Upper, which is what I thought I'd done last time. Beep, beep, beep. This looks very fresh. This could get boggy. Oh no, it's not too bad. Thankfully not as slippy as it looked Because it looked very slippy Ooh. Nice Completely new Oh, Cool Well then guys Good amount of work in here Proper solid foundations the trail. Oh, oh, got off balance. It is very narrow though, and it's kind of hard to stay in if you just get whoa, slightly off balance. Guess this will be rock and roll lower. Lovely jubbly. Right. Original one side upper. 
churned up. <laughs> Very churned up. In some action. Let's see why they made a new one. I don't want to remember this bit yet. She's good though. Oh well. Damn, no log there. Oh, looks a bit scary. Oh, there we go, that's us. On to the other one. Oh, no, that's it. Whew. Right, I was just speaking to a local. I didn't catch his name. He's one of the guys that have been building. Um, and he said not to bother with T3 or T2, which is the ones above me here, and the one down there. But he did say that tight as you like this one here, is running pretty good so we're gonna ride tight as you like and I remember I really enjoyed this one before yeah they said they've cut all the branches and whatnot so it is just the three guys really that are consistently out here doing the work in the trails and they're trying to get it ready for another Scottish Enduro next year Putting the effort in. Wow. Tight and bumpy. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hard work. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop. Got an achy back. <laughs> oh, give myself like a, a stitch, like a pulled muscle. Getting off. Try and ride slightly more passively. Save the old pack. <laughs> oh. Oh, that flows better than I remembered. So I think that that is all the trails that are riding well at the moment. I have avoided a couple uh, because I heard they're not good in their current condition. So we are either done and I'll get you at the car or we have one more trail called Camelstow. Well, unfortunately there was no more trails. The one that I went to ride, uh, the forest had been cleared, so yeah. Not quite as many trails as there used to be, but the ones that they do have now, they've focused on more and they've made them better. So, and they've built them in a way that they should last for quite a while as well. So I'm pleased to say Danoon is very much back on the map now and I will be returning in the near future to ride here again. The e-bike uh, the e went very well. Uh, I do want to make a couple of changes. I want a larger dropper on it. I feel it's a little bit short. I know that I've got the one-up components pedals on my other bike. I kind of want them on this bike as well because they're just that much flatter and uh, it does make a difference. But yeah, it's good to uh, have some assistance back up the hills again. I know half of you will be raging that I'm back on e-bike and half of you will be rejoicing, but uh, I do this for me, not for you guys. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this one and uh, I'll catch you on a regular bike next time.